Hey guys, it is me, the Trayman himself, and about two years ago, I released a video that talked about left click detection, and it discussed health detection. And in this video, I'm going to be modernizing the concepts that I used all this time ago. Uh, that Back then, we didn't have access to commands like has item and all of that good stuff. So in this video, I'll be showing you guys the th possibilities of what you can do with health detection and with left click detection in modern day commands with Minecraft. Anyway, so let's get right into the video. I have this system here that when a player joins, they're going to get a pair of boots. So this pair of boots is now stuck on me forever. And this is essential to detecting damage through the use of durability. And I can also, so you see this really annoying uh, red thing with all of these parameters of what you can't do with these boots, you can hide that by pressing this button. And now they look like normal boots, they cannot be dropped and all that good stuff. And this is the command for that. So you just need to do show tags false. And it's a game rule by the way, and it will just disappear. And that's very helpful, but anyway, that's not that important, but let's go on to how the commands themselves work. So this is, so I'm gonna be showing two methods for how you can do commands using has item. So this is method one, and this uses tags. So what do I mean by that? So as you can see here, so this command here detects when a player has chainmail boots in their foot slot or their feet slot, and the data is one. This is the durability damage. So one, so this would be durability one damage. Well, like it's it's still, uh, it's like when you take a singular hit of damage. Anyway, that's how you need to think of it. And then it gives them the tag taken damage. And this gives it to all players. So this is very multiplayer friendly. Anyway, once this happens, uh, the boots will be replaced because since we've given them the tag, we no longer need this extremely long has item command, so we can just move on from here. Anyway, now this is if they have this tag, this taken damage tag, you can do whatever you want. So here I'm affecting the player with speed and I'm also giving them strength. And then at the end of this process, I just take away their tag. So let's demonstrate it. Let me just turn this on. I'm gonna go into, oh, sorry, game mode. <laughs> That's funny. Anyway, I'm going to summon a Wither Skeleton. All right, let's have him hit me. And as you could see, I was given speed and strength. And if I get hit again, it also does not detect effects and all that kind of stuff. So it's only when you take damage that affects your boots durability. And as you can see, my boots are at full durability. They also have the same stuff that was applied to them before. Um, and I can show you the syntax for that if you guys want and how to properly do syntaxes. But anyway, in another video. But this is method one, it uses tags, and this is not necessarily how you need to do it. There is another method that you can use, and that is to instead just use the has item itself. It is way longer, and depending on the item's name, and if you're using like modded items and all that kind of stuff, it can be extremely long. Um, that's why I prefer to use tags. It also looks better and it's easier to understand. But if you can, if you want to do this, you can as well. So it just, it just has the two effects directly here. And then it just gives the player boots again. So it's, it's the same thing, similar thing. This is how all the commands look. Um, and they just work the same exact way. So I go into survival and I summon a wither skeleton. Probably going to die from this hit, but... Ah, my dad. <laughs> um, so if I take another hit of damage from this Wither Skeleton, as you can see, it all works, and it's two command blocks less, but it, in the long run, it depends on what you're trying to do. If you want something simple, then I recommend just using the has item itself, but if you're doing something more complex, you can use the tags or a scoreboard even. That's up to you. Well, anyway, now we have this big boy here. <laughs> this right here is a hit detection or a left click detection. So this is when you hit something, you will now be able to detect that. So if I go ahead and hit, I cannot hit 
while this cooldown is here. This is something similar to the Java cooldown. I know it operates a bit differently, but still, it's kind of interesting. So you left click and then the cooldown appears on the bottom of the screen. And once you hit the entity, it will um, give you weakness. And yeah, so I'll just show you guys how this works. So it uses this has item thing. I used the second method here. I didn't use the tag because, actually no, I did use the tag. Oh, I used scoreboard instead. So this is a third method, my goodness gracious. Um, so you can also, so, okay. I'll, let's just take this step by step here. So has item, iron sword, and it's in their main hand. So the hands that they're holding weapons in, and then it will detect the data of 101. So it's taken 101 damage. Then it will set their Java cooldown. I named it after the Minecraft version or coding language, whichever one you want it to be. Um, I set it to 30 ticks, which we'll get to that later. So now we continue from this and then it just gives them their iron sword with a data of 100. We'll go over that in a second as well. So this is the same thing. I didn't need all the fancy descriptions and all that because you can you should be able to drop it and all that kind of stuff so yeah anyway so then it just for this cooldown it displays a custom um action bar which is just a bunch of emojis basically if that's what you want to consider it or unicode and it just goes down every couple of ticks so and on zero ticks it displays just nothing so that it, do it doesn't cause confusion. And um, this just removes one point from the Java cooldown for every single tick. And what does this do? So this gives the player who has um, 20 ticks left or one, well, anything that's over one second left on their Java cooldown, it will give them weakness for one second, two, five, five. Why did I do it like this? Because once this 20 seconds runs out here, um, then this will last only one second. So it will perfectly uh, remove the uh, weakness on its own. So that's pretty convenient. But why did I use a data of 101 here? So what this system allows for the player to do is if I go in survival, or actually no, I'll just go in my inventory here. You can see it has taken durability damage. Also my boots did too, which is strange, but um, we'll get, into, get to that later. But this iron sword has taken durability damage. And because I set it to 100, I can have multiple different durability damage iron swords. And I can have, you know, a lot like enough to fill up their entire durability and then just one durability lower execute something on hit so that means it allows the player to basically have or use multiple of the same exact item the same exact sword and then apply different abilities to it based off of its durability which is extremely convenient and i'm pretty sure i showed that off with my right click detection with the crossbow video but that's something else entirely but anyway so that's pretty interesting and um yeah, so this is how these basic sim uh, systems work nowadays. Before, they used to use redstone and a bunch of other complicated stuff to detect when the, the armor has taken durability damage, and it wasn't multiplayer. But this works between different players and different people, and on screen, you should see me fighting against my friend Vented Llama. Um, and um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I shall see you guys in the next one. Peace.